Hello and a warm welcome to Money Mind. Youth unemployment in China is at a record high, with one in five young people in Chinese cities out of work. Why can't China find jobs for its young people? And what are the options for China's youths if they can't get a job? Jake Ho finds out in this special edition of Money Mind. Inspired by stage productions directed by Chinese filmmaker Zhang Yimou, Tiu Tiu had harbored ambitions of plying her trade in the performing arts industry. She lives in Beijing and holds a master's degree in literature of theatre, film and television. Tiu Tiu had sent dozens of job applications to media companies and television stations, but did not receive a response from any of them. Tiu Tiu is one of over 16 million new job seekers in China's cities this year. That number could rise further, as a record number of 11.6 million university students are set to graduate this year. That'll mean more competition for jobs. In June, youth unemployment in China hit a record high of over 21%. That means one in five urban youth under 24 does not have a job. China experienced more lockdowns more drastically than any other high or middle income country. And that's just going to have its economic tolls that comes out in many different ways. And one of them is fewer jobs for new graduates. Another issue we're seeing is demographic, which is, you know, China, as it's grown, it's also been urbanizing. It's also been expanding college enrollment. So we have more and more youths that are well-educated, uh, coming from much better family backgrounds and conditions than older cohorts. And they're being educated and brought up for high-end jobs, you know, tech jobs or jobs that require high education. And unfortunately, part of the economic slowdown means that those jobs are the ones that are in shorter and shorter supply. China's youth are bearing the brunt of the country's tepid economic recovery. Youth unemployment is four times the overall jobless rate. But the uptrend in youth unemployment also reflects structural factors. China is expanding its high-tech sectors and developing its advanced manufacturing base. But experts say not enough jobs have been created in these sectors. Uh,他们也依然是去那种劳动力密集型的行业来工作,比如我们现在看到有很多研究生或者本科生去快滴滴,然后送外卖,我最近还看到什么清华大学的毕业生,然后去这个 Their priority sectors would be advanced manufacturing, semiconductors, uh, electric vehicles, uh, energy, new energy kind of industry. So this may require specific skill sets, which you know the schools, uh, because of such a quick shift towards this kind of priority areas, they may need to then train or come up with programs they are able to train new graduates in this area. Information technology and finance are among the most popular majors in universities. But recent regulatory crackdowns have hurt the private sector, which provides more than 80% of jobs in China. Since 2021, there is a financial uh, regulatory tightening of several sectors that are major employers of the youth. And these are your real estate sector, your financial sector, um, your private education sector. So because of this tightening and there is a decline in the amount of jobs available to this youth, so this helped to push up the youth unemployment rate. While most of China's pandemic-related measures have been lifted, 
the conditions for reducing China's youth unemployment are not improving. One key issue is the gap between the salaries that young graduates are willing to accept and the rate that firms are willing to offer. The mismatch reflects the extent to which the cost of living has outpaced the growth in salaries. Last year, jobs for fresh graduates paid an average of just under 6,000 renminbi, or around 830 US dollars a month. But the average price of a typical apartment in Beijing is now over 6 million renminbi. That's equivalent to 83 years of average starting salaries. Tutu has since found a job in the human resources industry. She conducts data analysis for the organization and she earns a monthly salary of about 14,000 renminbi, or just under 2,000 US dollars. Bufu和可能是和我所学的一些专业会相差比较大一点。目前是因为从事的是一个运营岗嘛，嗯，因为我自己对于自己未来的一个规划，然后以及我自己觉得自己是比较擅长的呃职类的话，可能是偏向于管
Traditionally, young Chinese leave rural areas to attend university in the cities. But with more graduates in the job market and fewer jobs available, there's now a two-way flow of talent. In recent years, about 70% of university graduates have gained employment in small cities and rural areas. Ah, 对, 然后那种房子的周围, the central government is actively encouraging rural revitalization. Beijing says it will pump more money into improving rural infrastructure. And that means that more city comforts will become available in the countryside. 我在这边其实移动是有满格的五G信号的 but the modern comforts of urban living may not be something that young people are willing to give up. 如果是你要让年轻人选择自己选择在城市生活了道路说我到龙村去广科天地大有卓为也许他们有一部分人是可以到龙村去的。China's countryside might be vast, but for now, more needs to be done before the rural areas can reach their full potential. The rural economy comprises a small part of the economy. So for example, agriculture output is somewhere around 1 trillion US dollar compared to uh, the whole economy of China, which is around 18 trillion US dollars. So that is about 7% of GDP. Um, at most, I would say that it could create, provide for about 1 to 2 million jobs, but that would not be sufficient to absorb the number of youth coming into the labour market over the next few years. Yeah. 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 Taking the path into the countryside has helped these city children see a different side of their country. After the break, not child's play, but a career option, for now at least why young people in China are finding jobs as full-time children. Tiai's typical workday begins at 9 a.m. She goes with her parents for a morning walk and accompanies them to the market for a grocery run. 
She then prepares lunch for the family before taking an afternoon nap. Jia Yi is 31 years old and lives in the city of Hangzhou in eastern China. She's part of a growing trend in the world's second biggest economy, young people working for their parents as full-time children. Jia Yi used to sell clothes for a living, but the business didn't survive the COVID-19 pandemic. Since the start of 2023, she's been working as a full-time child. Her retired parents pay her a monthly salary of 8,000 renminbi, or around 1,100 US dollars. That is around 20% less than what she says is an acceptable salary for graduates in her city. But being a full-time kid might not be as easy as it seems. The concept of being a full-time son or full-time daughter is now trending on Chinese social media. With one in five youth in China's cities now out of a job, being employed by one's parents has become a viable job option. And it is not just a temporary solution for those who can't find a job. For some, it can also be an escape from China's stressful work culture. But what may look like a temporary job could have implications for young people and for China's economy in the long run. 和职场和社会隔离过后，呃，等等以后经济好了，可以重返职场的时候，他们会不会因为躺平摆烂已经失去了呃继续工作的这样的动力？啊，甚至可能会失去了人生的希望。这个是需要我们担忧的一个问题。
The young urban youth with college degrees, they have expectations that don't match the jobs that the job market can provide. Or maybe I should go a step further. They might have some of them might have expectations that no job market will provide. Uh,他们想要的欲望的实现,想要的东西,他们的父辈和成年世界都是有求必应的,无论是贫困家庭的孩子,还是有钱家庭的孩子,基本上都是父母都是尽量满足小孩子的需求的,所以在他们成年的过